It'd be so funny. Boy, maybe so funny because I'd be like, where my stuff is at? Where my stuff is at? Okay, guys, I'll be here in a minute. <laughs> Step on and as you make your dinner, I'm making my dinner. Step on. Y'all, I'm coming in. Give me a second. I'm just uploading a couple of things. We do know from me doing these live streams at night, it's a little different. I just need a minute. I just need a minute. Don't take me off the warrant list. Ain't nobody gonna pull that. And Y'all, just give me a minute. And guess what? Once I finish this video, we're gonna be done. Y'all can go to all those channels and watch everything. I'm not gonna take too much of your time. Can I be recognized, man? You trying to be long-winded? 
<laughs> I'm just asking. Get to know each other in the comments, and I'll see you a little bit. And don't forget, you can click the join button and become a member of my channel. Love y'all so much.
Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to get over whatever I was getting over. Well, I had a respiratory thing going on. So welcome to Burgundy Blue Commentary. Thank you for being here. And I hope you can hear me over my air fryer because I'm making some, um, what am I making? Caesar salad with garlic bread. Just something easy tonight. Let me know what you're having for dinner in the comments. And also, we're going to do a little housekeeping right quick before I start the video. I know y'all be like, come on, Burgundy, you are doing too much. But I want y'all to know that I am a Daltonite. Yes, former Daltonite. That's my coin. I didn't, I'm sitting up here. I don't know. I didn't create that. Someone years ago said, are you a Daltonite? And I was like, I am a Daltonite. And it was like, if we were, um, if we came from Dalton, we were a Daltonite. So you guys just bear with me. So this is the thing. Um, I just saw, I want to direct y'all to Hannibal is Hungry channel. I saw he had an interview with the lady that went off at the beginning of the meeting. Remember, she went off like she had a brain tumor and she helped Tiffany with her campaign. And when Tiffany came up with that, uh, breast cancer awareness thing, and it didn't come up the way it was supposed to be. And we'll do that in another video, but I'm gonna give you my quick synopsis. First of all, she had the foundation. We're not no dummies. We already know that, but she should be getting in anybody, but that didn't register the paperwork and put the funds where it needs to be and uh, do the right thing and advise her to say, Hey, you know what? You know what? We can't use this money over here. We can get a donation from here, but we can't use this money from here. It's it's almost ridiculous. Like that wouldn't even slide. Like whoever let that go and created the foundation, as we know who it was, I think it was Keith Freeman was the the person that created. It. Then they had the five people that was part of the board. They they should be no, no, that's not correct. Okay. So you guys, I'm gonna play oh tacos for tonight. Yeah, what's today? Sunday. That sounds delicious um chicken beef pork veggie let me know so um you guys i'm gonna play a couple of videos because we're gonna talk about frank zuccarelli today and i wanted to just do the housekeeping because i know that he was beloved amongst the community i have questions and i only put chris gonzalez like this all sad because that was during the meeting it cracked me up because He's so soft-spoken. He was just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he was in a meeting. He was like, I'm just asking a question. And then Supervisor Henry was like, you're done. You're done. He was like, okay, you know what? Whatever. So that's why he's sitting there looking like that. And that's Frank Zuccarelli in the blue. And I want your, I want to ask a question. And I've been asking. And you guys, we're a small YouTube channel. So we have to sort of figure stuff up our figure stuff out ourselves. And I'm not doing this to um, dry bag and ask nobody to come to this channel. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not doing nothing like that. But I'm saying the the, the trustees aren't going to come over here. I'm a small channel. They're not going to come over here and discuss anything. Or I don't have a lot of eyeballs on me, which is okay. So we as citizens, we're going to figure out, figure things out for ourselves and figure out why things are. And I try to look on their pages like, for instance, I call the trustees, my trustee, my favorite trustee, because we call them the Avengers over here. My favorite trustee is Brittany Norwood so far. I don't know anything about any of the trustees, but I call her Brittany Lil Mama Norwood because it seems like she keeps a flat, even plane. All trustee Norwood want is the receipt. She don't care about none of this internet stuff or anything like that. She don't care about none of that. Okay. She like, just, just give me the receipts. Um, I love trustee Norwood. My second person that, um, we talk about over here on Burgundy Blue commentary. And I want at bottom line, I want all the, the whole board to be in line like this again, minus Andrew Holmes, because if you're a community activist and every time we see you, you got about 10 microphones in front of your face, um and you ain't come out about this you should have came out like ain't no way i'm a christian man ain't no way but you didn't so but i want to see the entire board up together 
being the what do they call themselves? Not the I call them the super friends. They call themselves the dream team. I want to see this go back to this. That's what I really want to see. Uh, but we got Trusty Little Mama Norwood. We got Jason Zaddy House. We got Kiana, the best voice belcher. And I haven't came. I'm going to say that Trusty Brown is Trusty, bring me my fashion brown. Because she always come, she come ready with the fashions, with the scar. Trusty Accessory Brown. She have the best accessories. Um, but that's just our nicknames over here. But um, I feel like I'm Brown, Norwood, Belcher. What's our guy name? Zaddy House. Oh, honorary trustee Ed Steve. Now I don't know much about him. I'm researching it. I know that he was appointed by Riley, but I'm just wondering what what you know. I like that he didn't give up. That's what I'm trying to say. But I want them back in unison like this. I want them back together like this when they were all back in Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Okay, so here's my housekeeping right quick. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a former Dalton Knight. I love Dalton. I grew up in Dalton. I have loved ones in Dalton. And it took me a year. It, it took me a year to just shut up, zip my lip, even as a YouTuber, to talk about Dalton, even when I saw things around. So right here, what we're doing over here, we're doing critical thinking. We're also doing some Dalton nostalgia. And if you would so inclined, that's me. I'm not hiding myself. I just look really jacked up. I got a bonnet on. I got a zebra print bonnet on right now. So I'm not coming on camera. But that's me right there. I'm burgundy blue. And you see me. And I have a Patreon. You don't have to join. I'm going to keep on going live. I'm going to keep on talking about it over here on YouTube. And we're going to have a good time. But on this channel, you make the decision for yourself. You decide for yourself what you think of the situation. And sometimes we can go a little long. Can I be recognized, Mayor? You trying to be long-winded? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm going to try not to be long-winded. Okay, so prayers to everybody involved because I think they all have a heavy job to do. But also you can go on over and uh, subscribe to the membership and get the same thing. So. You guys, I felt like my my thing I felt was things got really bad when Mayor Henry became supervisor. It got super bad, okay? But this is the thing we're talking about over here on Burgundy Blue Commentary. Why did none of the trustees trust of Thornton Township trust each other to be the next township supervisor? Now, if you didn't know, and let me tell you another thing you can do over here. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Please correct me. Or please say your opinion. It was all the... So Frank passed away. I, and that's another person. Like, I'm just listening. Like I said, I go to Hannibal is Hungry. I go to Anton Daniels. I go to... These are all big channels, right? So the trustees and um, Stephanie... What's his name? Tommy G, who did a phenomenal job. Hannibal Hungry, he does a great job. Um... The trustees that are over here, they go over there, but I'm actually living it. So here on Burgundy Blue Commentary, we're in the Southland and we're on the pavement and we're hoping that Lacey don't find us, okay? That everybody went back home. They do their videos. Definitely, what's our guy, Spencer Cornelia? He did his video and he went on home. <laughs> but hold on, guys. I had turned off that air fryer was loud. Okay, so Spencer, Tornilla, Spencer Cornelia, he did what he had to do on the ground. And baby, he went on home. He said, what? You you what? You said don't film? Okay, I won't film. But Spencer Cornelia came over here. He went back home. I'm here. I'm in the trenches. I'm doing what I got to do. And I'm making coverage for you. So I hope you stay. Okay, so my thing with Thornton Township is and we do know one passed away. One, at, the young lady passed away, and that's how Carmen Carlisle got her spot. Oh, I, I forgot to add, I do watch Pink Book Lessons, too. But all of those people are not in. Uh, so if you're a Dalton Knight or a Thornton Township Knight, 
this is your jam over here, okay? Because we're just asking. And the election is this Tuesday. Okay, so my whole thing, I was listening to Chris Gonzalez interview with the Lansing Journal. All of y'all, I know y'all was together. I know that um, you couldn't come up with a unan unanimous decision. He brought up a lot of names and, you know, no one, they couldn't all agree until it got to Tiffany Henry. But you guys as a conglomerate, if you will, nobody trusted each other to be the next township supervisor. And this one I need Stephanie Wendelman, Wiedemann. Also, also, can I throw her in there? I know she wasn't government. She was a chief of staff, I think. I know she wasn't like Frank. But nobody said, you know what, Stephanie, you step up and become the next supervisor for the next four years because they were rushing because they didn't want the uh, state or the township to decide. They didn't want the township to decide. So they made a decision. My question is this and this only. Well, two questions. Did anybody know Frank was sick? Did anybody know that Frank Ziccarelli was sick? And did they not? Did he not say, you know what? If so, something happened to me, go ahead and put JoJo Siwa in my seat. I'm just throwing a name up there. Or, you know, if something happened to me, Stephanie, you already know, you've been my assistant, my chief of staff for 20 years. You know the whole background. You step up. Okay. And let's say that's not the case with government over there in Thornton Township. Let's say that's not the case. It wasn't like, Chris Gonzalez, you was here before me. You know how the township work. Joyce, you the senior trustee. You know how the township work. Jerry, I've seen Jerry around South Suburban. I've seen him around Thornton Township, South Holland. Jerry Jones, oh, I think that's his last name, Jones. Um, Jerry, you've been around here 100 years. You could be the next supervisor. They didn't even trust themselves. That's my question. If I have it wrong... Correct me. I just don't understand how everyone's complaining now when they couldn't select one of their own after Frank Zuccarelli died. Now, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Okay. So now they are, they say we. So now they dominate um, Tiffany A. Henyard to be the supervisor when she's newly. She's just now because let me tell you one thing. On this channel, I'm going to tell y'all, as a Dalton night, as a South Suburban night, and as a Thornton Township night, those trustees are not lying. Tiffany Henyard was a good trustee. And on top of that, she was on the floor, on the ground running for the people. You can't take, and they will tell you that. You can't take that away from her. So I don't know what happened now that she's mayor and supervisor. She was an amazing trustee. She really pushed the right thing to do. I'm just going to say it, you know. Um, so all of y'all that y'all all trustees and all been around each other for 100 years. And I'm not saying 100, like, but y'all all knew each other, familiar with each other. And even Stephanie Wiedemann, she was Frank, she, she said on... You guys, Stephanie and um, Nikita were on the Hammond podcast. The mayor of Hammond is cool as heck. I, I didn't even know how cool he was until so I started listening to his podcast. But Tom uh, McDermott, they were on his podcast with his lawyer. And they were like, yeah, she only had nine minutes to swear in. Just think about it. Y'all are trustees. It took you 90 days into the last app, five minutes to make a decision you guys didn't trust each other that's my question please somebody answer this for me okay so she said on there you know frank is my best friend and i was his chief of staff for 20 years now is this wrong with government because if he was to pass away would they have been able to just say stephanie you know how this works. You know you know everything about Frank because he's your best friend and you have been his assistant and chief of staff for 20 years. 
go ahead and fill this until the end of his term. They didn't even vote Stephanie in. Do you see where I'm going here? Okay, let's go ahead. I want to, I, I just wanted to share that because I said, so today I got a couple of emails and over here, we're just non-biased. We're non-biased. We're talking, all we're doing is talking about it. Give me, give me a minute. I'm going to put up my video I put up to get today about Dr. Nikita Cloud. And I'll be right back because I want to pull up this article. If you're in here, tell a friend, like, comment, share, subscribe, and consider being a member of my channel. And I appreciate y'all so much for bearing with me. I'm a new YouTuber. I'm not new. I've been doing coverage, but I'm new to this Dalton stuff. And I'm trying to be non-biased. And don't forget, if you're in the Southland, please vote. Please vote if you want to change. Vote for everything. Vote, okay? We was covering Dr. Nikita Cloud. If you didn't know, she was the former chief of staff to Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And she had posted about some text messages she received that they were nasty. But go swipe your face card, Dr. Nikita, because one thing they can't say about you is that that face card will ever decline. Yeah, I was cracking up. Did you see Dr. Nikita had posted on her page that somebody was texting her from a um okay who is she now that was her on dr um dr nikita was she's been on all the out she's a pr representative and she was tiffany's last pr person and her chief of staff and she quit because tiffany was disrespecting her we covered it in the last live but she received like an anonymous text talking about her and trying to body shame her and stuff and it just infuriated me and i was like girl you on all this these new news outlet with that cute face you better go you better go hey deaf chef and thank you indigo thank you portio oh before i get to the video let me shout out my members um because i think i'm supposed to do that and i don't know how to do that so i want to do it yanni chingas thank you for being a member nalda thank you for being a member Sarita Banana, thank you for being a me member. And I also want to say Jen Covell, thank you for your cash out. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's talk about, um, y'all got to bear with me. I'm trying to figure out how to do all this. Let's go ahead and talk about Zuccarelli. And forgive me, I'm not talking about him because we know he passed away, but I'm just bringing the double dipping situation out. People are saying she's holding two seats. She's holding two seats. And I, if I recall, and I'm not, let me tell you, we're not, we're just talking about it. Cause I'm, I'm like, it's some things the trustees say. I'd be like, yeah, right on. Like I'd say, they're my Avengers. I'd be like, y'all better go. And it's not right for them to be locked out. And it's not right for them not to get that money, the bills and all of that stuff. Then it's some things that I hear Tiffany say, and I'm like, hmm. Well, yeah. One of my concerns, one of my concerns, Odison. Um, if he losing cases, now I'm not saying I'm not, I don't think Tiffany is 25 and oh. Now Odison is the um the lawyer for the trustees. He's a political lawyer, he's the one that be on the news and he be saying you can't do this, you can't do that. But they lost maybe four or five cases. I'm not saying you don't need representation, but if he keep on, if he lose another case, you might need to get somebody else. That's what I'm saying. And before Olderson sued me, I got I got some clothes, I, I got some jewelry, uh, uh, the rest I got tied up in investments. I ain't got nothing. Else. That's all I'm saying. Green is fun. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. I ain't got. I ain't got. I got some clothes. I got some jewelry. I ain't got nothing else, Olderson. So you come over here if you want to. But if you lose one more case for the trustees and they're paying you, and I'm saying they're paying you 
but allegedly and like i would need um somebody to ask like if you guys know anton or hannibal please if you guys anybody in my life if you have a connection with these people like pink book lessons hannibal all that stuff email them these questions freely if Olderson is um losing these cases and the the taxpayers are paying and he's losing don't you think you need another lawyer that's my look i don't think tiffany 25 and oh like she said on roland martin because we saw our girl trustee the best voice belcher get up and hand out the paperwork but if y'all are losing and he's not winning and the taxpayers are paying for that and we don't know how we, it's like this at the meetings they shut up when it comes to that part like is he losing if he losing and she win in every case and um delgado is being let's say he he just slick and younger and just all of that and he's winning everything may need to get another lawyer i'm not saying they don't need counsel i'm not saying that they don't need counsel i'm just saying hey if 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 Odelson making the trustees lose every case, get get you a new lawyer. Find somebody else. Get Nate the lawyer. And before I get sued, I got I got some clothes. I, I got some jewelry. Uh, uh, the rest I got tied up in investments. I ain't got nothing else. I ain't got nothing else, y'all. All right. So that's one thing. Then the second question is, why didn't the trustees of Thornton vote in one of their own? And then the third question is, because it's like when you listen to those board meetings, I listen to both sides, right? So the, the first of all, bottom line, bottom dollar, transparency. That stuff should be posted on the board. Kiana Belcher, trustee Kiana Belcher's ship picture should be up. Chris Gonzalez um, should be on the literature and on the website. All of that is childish. I am with that 100%. Now, I'm, I'm speaking from a dog night here. You know what I mean? I'm speaking from a South suburban person. I'm speaking from a Thornton Township person. I'm speaking from someone that grew there and didn't fly there, right? Uh, I was there when it was, I don't hear nobody talk about a Dalton trolley. It wasn't until today I heard the woman bring up the Dalton Tattler. Um, it, I remember when I worked for pub, I worked for Village of Dalton too, the public works the man I worked for was deceased and I'm not age saying He was deceased. A.R. <laughs> Leaks or Gatlin's in Chicago, the funeral home rolled him into work every day and rolled him out. And he got a, he was literally deceased damn near. So I see with, um, I see what the new public works person is doing he's really doing a good job you know what i mean i didn't like the way he he talked to trustee tammy brown but he really is trying to do what he can do but then again i go back to what the trustees say i understand the mayor's trying to make the city look pre pretty i understand the ice skating rink i understand all that stuff but it's a order you have to do things you know what i mean so it's like two sides over here on burgundy blue commentary another thing does the mayor need security detail here on burgundy blue commentary i as a dalton knight think she does that's my opinion now do she need the uh what do you call a secret service no go ahead and get you a bodyguard where's that guy from rinkies would y'all watch the game with the gregory gregory Cagain, aka get the mountain the mountain that was standing up there with our guy from rinkies he, you just need maybe two security guards get you a bodyguard kevin costner and call it a day you don't need four or five police officers you just don't you know what i mean and i'm not going to touch the police department at all i'm gonna leave that there and that's for my personal protection okay so let's go ahead and talk about um uh, and thanks for everybody being here um hit that like button i have 50 people in 52 people in here hit the like give me like 40 likes okay um like what what mayor henry said you do anything for a like and a view not anything but hit the like <laughs> so i feel like things the heat really got on because when people keep on saying well she makes um two hundred twenty four thousand dollars a year 
Well, anybody would have made that amount if they would have, like, let's say Stephanie would have took over. She would have completed his term and made that amount. Um, th But the rudeness, the, the meanness, the not working together, when people voted you in, I was there firsthand at an elementary school. Polls were closing. And the trustee, now mayor, was standing there with her baby girl as we were casting the last votes. It was a monumental event. To see what's happening now is not cool. All the lawsuits, not cool. I think they, it's not, you're not too far gone. Stop it, bring it together. This is national attention and it's not good. Okay, let me show you what happened with Zuccarelli. Um, because of the double dipping. Because remember, Mayor Henyard is trustee. No, I'm sorry. She's mayor. And she's mayor. And what is she? A uh, supervisor. Then we heard Jedediah Brown talk about Andrew Holmes. And that's another thing. I think that she should immediately denounce Andrew Holmes until he's cleared. Not to say he's guilty, but you're bringing all this publicity over here. Nobody's speaking about it. Andrew Holmes in this photo got about 32 microphones in front of him talking about Kalika Jenkins. He could take a, le a pen and paper. Every time we see him at a board meeting, he has a pen and paper. Go ahead and write us a letter. Go ahead and do a quick video. I'm not guilty. You're not doing any of that. And I think that's not fair. And here on Burgundy Blue Commentary, I think something's going on. We just don't know what's going on. But I don't think that uh, the mayor or the trust, the mayor or a Thornton Township supervisor should just ride with him for loyalty. No, not at all. Some happened in Vegas. Some happened. Okay, those are my opinions. And I'm talking to you, and we've been on here 37 Can minutes. Can I be recognized, Mayor? You want to be long winded? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm going to try not to be long winded. Now, let's watch about with Zuccarelli, who, before I start, he was like a Democratic, he was like a Democratic councilman. He was the president, I believe, of South Suburban College. And he also was the, as long as I could vote in my lifetime, he was the only one on the ballot for Thornton Township supervisor. So um, let's watch when in like 2013, people were calling for him to leave one of his jobs. I did the commercials, guys. Ooh, let me stop screen. Share screen. Thin. Thin. This cheap stuff is too thin. Here's Charmin Ultra Strong. Ah, my bottom's been saved. Woohoo! With its diamond yeah, texture, watch, uh, yeah, watch. Charmin Ultra Strong cleans better with fewer sheets and less effort. What's everybody? We got to talk about some bears' booties. Hold on, his little booty. <laughs> Let's go. The Charmin guys are here. Let's go. Okay, here we go. And we're not gonna be on here long. We're not gonna be on here long. This was just what I wanted to bring up. Can I be recognized, Mayor? You want to be long winded? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just acting. I, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Can I be recognized? You gonna be long winded, Lord? Okay, let's turn this up. Let's go up. Governor Pat Quinn signs one more bill into law. It's what sitting governors love to do, especially when there's an election seven months away. Quinn faces Democrat Bill Daley in the primary, but he seems to have forgotten. Daly's name. The person you just mentioned uh, has never helped the South Suburbs. Quinn is trying to change the subject since today Quinn's appointment to the CTA board, powerful Thornton Township Committeeman Frank Zuccarelli. Want to get the most out of one sheet? Grab Bounty. 
Yo, I'm sitting here like, did they cut? Did they cut me off? Cause we're we're getting to the good stuff. Hold on. Gotta let this commercial pass and hit the like button, guys. Sorry about the commercial. All right, let's go. Hopefully, you play it through this time. Hello? Governor Pat Quinn signs one more bill into law. It's what sitting governors love to do, especially when there's an election seven months away. Quinn faces Democrat Bill Daley in the primary, but he seems to have forgotten Daley's name. The person you just mentioned uh, has never helped the South suburbs. Quinn is trying to change the subject since today Quinn's appointment to the CTA board, powerful Thornton Township Committeeman Frank Zuccarelli. Why won't I play it? What is going on? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm I close here, Dan, and we'll hold this bill up. Governor Pat Quinn signs one more bill into law. It's what sitting governors love to do, especially when there's an election seven months away. Quinn faces Democrat Bill Daly in the primary, but he seems to have forgotten Daly's name. The person you just mentioned uh has never helped the South suburbs. Quinn is trying to change the subject since today Quinn's appointment to the CTA board, powerful Thornton Township Committeeman Frank Zuccarelli. Y'all, they don't want me to play this. They don't, I'll have to read it. They don't want me to play it. I close here, Dan, and we'll hold this bill up. Governor Pat Quinn signs one more. See. Oh my goodness, they don't want me to. I'm literally just playing it like I do anything else. I'm close here, Dan, and we'll Maybe hold this bill up. Governor Pat Quinn signs one more bill into law. It's what sitting governors love to do, especially when there's an election seven months away. Quinn faces Democrat Bill Daley in the primary, but he seems to have forgotten Daley's name. The person you just mentioned uh, has never helped the South suburbs. Quinn is trying to change the subject since today Quinn's appointment to the CTA board, powerful Thornton Township Committeeman Frank Zuccarelli. Okay, we're going to have to read it, y'all. <laughs> let me get, look, let me pull my finger out because y'all know I read with my finger. <laughs> All right, let's see. If you're in here, put a blue heart or a one. I appreciate you. The scrutiny of the ethics behind Illinois public transit operators have claimed another victim. CTA authority board member Frank Zuccarelli resigned from his position in a letter to government Pat Quinn. That's what Cranes reported on Tuesday. Zuccarelli, a Quinn appointee, was accused of double dipping because he was receiving $128,000 a year as supervisor of Thornton Township. Now, I'm going to assume this was Frank's fourth term because remember each term, and we learned this from um, Tommy G and Stephanie, he received more and more. So he worked for what his salary. We're not disputing that. But that fourth term, he was at 128, so I'm gonna say fourth or fifth term, right? So he, oh, thank you, thank you so much. I wish I knew how to make people mod moderators, Def Chef. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> I'm I'm new over here. Everything y'all do for me, I thank you. Okay, so um, we know, we learned that from Z from Stephanie because she told us that he got to his eighth term and that's how he got to the 200 some thousand but tiffany takes over his term so he died the first year of his term so she has three well two and a half three years more of that two hundred and fifty thousand dollars now i'm not a oh, two hundred twenty four thousand. i wasn't mad at that 224 i'm not gonna lie 17 um 17 count cities right what was I was more mad at the six hundred dollars per day per diem. I would save that six hundred dollars a day every day. Now we know why that beauty supply was on them bills, <laughs> but she could have used that per diem to do what she needed to do. They got six hundred dollars a day per diem. That's an extravagant per diem. Okay. So he was accused of double dipping because he was receiving $128,000 a year as supervisor for Thornton Township, along with $25,000 from CTA. Zuccarelli was not breaking any state laws because the township posts are exempted, but he was facing criticism 
from Bill Daly. Frank Zuccarelli, Zuccarelli had little choice but to do the honorable thing by resigning today. Daly said after news of Frank Zuccarelli's um, resignation was made public, it's unfortunate that Governor Quinn put him in this position in the first place. So Daly is saying, hey, you shouldn't have gave him that extra job anyway because he already was making a hundred and some thousand dollars a year. You know what I mean? But I always think back to that. Let me, let, let's let let's talk about Dalton before I finish. Like, think about it. Uh, Tiffany's salary as a mayor is $50,000. Now, we do know it comes with perks, and we know she's a liquor commissioner, and we know all that stuff. But then the people you work with, allegedly, Keith Freeman make over $100,000, or Kamal Woods make over $100,000, or the super... The, uh, superintendent of public works makes more than you that's bananas but because you're in service that's why it's so such a low pay you know what i mean now now look at it in his resignation letter zuccarelli referred to the controversy as political grandstanding and said he didn't want to distract from the critical i want to slow this up now this is i got i got mad respect for him for this Zuccarelli said he didn't want to distract from the critical issues or stand in the way of what people in the South suburbs need. Quinn defended his appointment of Zuccarelli, telling NBC5 that the important thing is to have the South suburbs covered with a strong voice on transit. When asked about Zuccarelli resigning under pressure from Daly, Quinn would not even say his opponent's name. That person you just mentioned has done nothing for the South suburbs. Metro's board has lost several members over this year, sparked by the firing of executive director Alex Clif Clifford and followed by the resignations of Larry Huggins, Brad O'Halloran, Paul Durley, and Mike McCoy. Okay, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Zuccarelli was double dipping. I'm doing air quotes. He was double dipping. Right. And then he said, you know what? I'm a step down. Now, this goes to um Tiffany Henyard. I'm doing out, I'm doing the Jedediah. Tiffany Hayyard, Hanyard. What Jedediah say? This go back to that. Um, I think I wouldn't even run. Okay, she's gonna run for Dalton and she's gonna run for Thornton Township. She's gonna do that because it's like if one don't hit the next one wheel, right? And I'm going to be honest, I haven't heard anybody say this, but she does have a chance of winning Dalton again because the jobs, you employ the people in the, the work for you, they live in the area and they're registered to vote in the area. You're with the youth, with the basketball court, the ice skating rink, doing the, the events. I haven't seen the events that... Uh, um, she does since I was a kid. Okay. Open that pool is over. All you gotta do is go to Thorn Ridge and get everybody that's 18 to come vote for you. You're going to win. She only, look, I don't know if the trustees realize this. They say, oh, well, she only, she won 82% of the vote. Only a thousand people voted. I know it was COVID, but it wasn't like Dalton has a, a huge turnout. Just, just keep me in mind. Just keep that in mind. You do for the seniors and you do for those 18 year olds and you do for the people that are making all that big bank at two townships, you're going to win anyway. Okay. Now Thornton Township, I don't know. Cause I saw them 13 mayors and I was like, Ooh, baby, praying for you. Okay. So Zuccarelli stepped down for the good of the township. I would say if the, if our crew, the dream team come back together, go ahead. Now, I don't know. Everybody's like house for mayor. But you know if she doesn't get reelected, whoever's the next mayor going to have to deal with all those lawsuits. So it's just one thing after another. You see what I'm saying? And when I get to the township, I'm always thinking, y'all didn't vote one of your own in. So did y'all not get along? None of y'all voted one of your own in. And it didn't even vote. And I, and please, I may be ignorant on 
the situation on if Stephanie could have just went from chief of staff to township supervisor. I'm just wondering, could she have if they would have allowed it? Could she have if she wanted to? That's just my thoughts. We don't have an answer for any of this. So you guys, I appreciate you being here. We're just over here talking about it, but I wanted to show you one of those things. Now, guys, I was watching Stephanie on Hannibal, I think it was, and she was saying that Zuccarelli had an issue when they went down south and they and it was like a climate. We're going to research that because nobody can tell me, nobody can tell me, did Zuccarelli really put in for Dalton? And is that why Tiffany Henry goes so hard? That's just my questions. I don't know what's going on. Um, if you want to know more about what I have been experiencing, I go to my membership side. You don't have to, but I put up a private video of what I experienced during this election time. Speaking of election time, uh, it is an election. This is what we got in our uh, mailbox, emails, all that. It's the sample ballot for the Democratic Party. And this is who Mayor Henyard endorses, starting with Joe Biden. But we saw her at the, the she was a guest of that, right? Punch number one, right? Then we go to Jonathan Jackson, son of Jesse Jackson, punch number 11. Gloria is who you have to look at. Gloria White, she's going to be report, um, she's going to be replacing Thaddeus Jones. I have, you know, like I said, I don't have a dog in this fight. Water reclamation. We have all these different things going on. We also have Tuesday. You vote for the referenda. Should Thornton Township open a second food pantry? I don't know if this has anything to do with Dr. Scott. Like why? Why can't, you know, why can't Dr. Scott open? We don't know. Um, shall Thornton Township provide community mental health facilities and services for persons with developmental disabilities or substance abuse disorders? People have told me that the, they did have it, but she fired everybody. I don't know. Thornton Township Super Salad Bar, where the hell is it? I'll find out tomorrow. I decided to take off tomorrow. And I'm going to find that super salad bar and see if it's free because I'm wondering, should Thornton Township charge a fee for $2 per person for access to the township super salad bar? Does it exist now? Does it not exist? Will it exist? I'm going to find out for you. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you for being here. I'm a Thornton Township person, don't night going on the ground for you. I'm not perfect. We're just trying to see what's going on. Somebody said, I'm going to leave this comment here because that's what we think, right? People be like, oh, she going to jail. She going to. I saw the report. She was in jail the other day. Um, Something might be going on because she's still able to move and maneuver the way she wants to. She's able to move, maneuver the way she wants to. Something, something, somebody don't know something. Who's in charge of the girls? You, are you in charge of the girls, Damon? Who's in charge of the girls? Three million for mental illness. Yeah, mental illness is well. What would she do with the four? I think it's forty nine dollars, right, or forty two dollars. That's on the referendum. You have to vote Tuesday. Karma Films. We have to vote. Good evening, John QQ. Thanks, everybody. Make sure you hit that. The eighteenth. Is six hundred dollars good? Googly moogly. Hey Steve, hello everybody. I appreciate y'all so much. I look. I don't understand the outfits and hair. I would use my per diem for outfits and hair. Now I understand because now the world is watching. I get getting your hair, nails, and making sure you got some edge control, but not on a taxpayer dollar. I'm confused on who said that was okay. I'm confused on that. And I thought that she would know better as being a trustee for over nine years, 10 years. I, I was listening to someone today say, oh, she just came for, for high school. See, it'd it be that thing. Well, she was like, I, I grew here, you flew here. I think we came to Dalton. I want to say if you any Daltonites ever come across this video, Burger Vandenberg, Miss Wasp, 
Burger Vandenberg, Miss Wasp. I ain't talking about Thornridge, Mr. Eames. If you grew here, Burger Vandenberg, Miss Wasp. Okay. <laughs> um, Nick Sports Page, Dalton Show. That's what we talking about. The Hostess, Panazos. If you're a Daltonite or if you ran through Dalton, let me know. We'll do some neighboring suburbs too. Uh, but we're we grew here. You know what I mean? We grew here. Dalton Pool open. That's it. But I don't remember, like you were really special if you were black and in Dalton in the 70s. You were really special. Uh my family came in the 80s. Okay. So I'm just saying that. I don't see nothing wrong with her migrating here during high school. I don't see she because that's like saying Shaw came from Arkansas. So he didn't. He was the mayor, too. You don't have to be here from grade school to come here. So those are things like we're just critically thinking. Do I like the attitude she's giving to the trustees? No. Um, do I like the way she's treating people and young? No. The way she's talking to people at the board meetings or the citizens, or not giving them licenses, or not giving the public taxpayer receipts. No, I don't Can I like. Be recognized, Mayor. You find to be long-winded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just saying, vote because this is the reason. I, I'm I'm not telling you guys which way I'm going, but I will tell you this: Look at these people on this list. If any of them want go in and she it says, please read what you get. It says, um, this these are endorsed by Mayor Tiffany Henyard. You do realize that they're gonna endorse Mayor Tiffany Henyard if you don't want her here once they do get in office, right? Um, that's what I have to say about that. Let's go ahead, plan two more videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Consider becoming a member. I have a dope video on my membership page. You will not be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. Um, it's really dope. And I'm adding more, you guys. I had to get the sound for another video um, for you guys that became a member. I had to get the sound together. Um, let's go ahead and play this. And you know what? I was I was in a late night crew the other day. He was like, he was like, Burgundy, I'm not chasing the bag. It's not that I'm chasing the bag. This stuff takes a lot of time to break down these videos. Like I'm doing edits too. It takes a lot of time, y'all. So I'm not chasing the bag. Just I just want to remind people I do have a membership. You don't have to join. I'm always bringing you this content until Lacey come get me. Okay. Let's watch this video that was in a public situation. Make sure you get out there and vote. This was just posted in a community post. I'm going to share it with you. And also, I'm going to give my two cents. You oh, doing it in the daytime. Mm -hmm. You knew better to come to the house and do it, though. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. Now, Dalton will be at the start. Let me tell you, the energy is so tense. Um, election is Tuesday. And it's several things wrong with this. Number one, I can't see who posters are being picked up, but we know they're being picked up and taken away. Um, I would assume that's Thaddeus Jones. He actually is not endorsed by the mayor of Dalton. Um, it, it She is endorsing someone else. So I want to say that. Number two, if it's a village vehicle and it's um, and you're doing campaign work, it, you know, you're not supposed to mix and mingle the two. Um, that that's something to see. 
put your poster in your window that way they can't come in and take it show your support that way but more than anything make sure you vote tuesday because you're watching these things happen and a lot of people i've heard people say oh i'm not voting at I'm not going to vote until it's time to vote for the president or I'm not going to vote until it's time to vote for the mayor. No, it's important that you vote for everything. Water reclamation. It's important that you um, vote for your senators. It's important that you vote for judges. It's important that you vote for everything now, because no matter who you support or who you don't support, this whole game is you scratch um, your back, I'll scratch your in my back whatever you know what i'm trying to say it's all a political game uh game so if um you're if you don't want tiffany henry let's say you don't want her um and you don't vote you have nothing to say once those people that do get into office endorse her for mayor because it's that's it that's the name of the game it's politics okay so you guys I did put a link below and you can click that link and find out where to vote into your area if you're in Cook County or if you're in Illinois. And you guys just be safe out there. You know, the best thing to do is to, one thing I do agree with, beat them at the polls. That's the best thing you could do. It's power in the job. It's power in the job. Okay, you guys, as always, you make sure you take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Okay, guys, and I also wanted to add this. Um, I'm it, I don't know anybody's schedule that's talking about Dalton, but if I see like the late night crew come on, I try to go on later. If I see like um Shawnee or Nate or something, I try to go on later. So we'll probably meet up about 2 a.m. if anybody's up. Um, and also I'll let you I also would like to let you know that we covered a lot the last couple of days. Please, please consider subscribing to my membership. This is one of the things that was going on in my neighborhood, and I did put a video up over there. And yes, this is Dalton Vehicles, all right? As always, I love you. And look, I didn't go too long. I didn't go too long. Can I be recognized, Mayor? You trying to be long-winded? <laughs> I'm just acting. And you know what? Um, I'm going to ask you guys to go over and look at my Patreon too. Ain't nobody going to approve that. And I understand nobody going to approve that. <laughs> I love all of y'all. And as always, hit the like on the way out. Please tell a friend, like, comment, subscribe talk subscribe subscribe and y'all i'm not being funny i bet you tuesday i bet you tuesday we have some news on andrew holmes i don't have any insight to or anything like that but it's been too quiet too long and i'm sure they got a process and you know monday usually a business processing day i bet you by tuesday we know where he at and he ain't gonna be on a slot machine and if y'all decide to sue me, I got I got some clothes, I, I got some jewelry, uh, uh, the rest I got tied up in investments. I ain't got nothing else. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Bye. Commentary blue. Commentary.